All right, we're going to be using another Japanese team from that little grassroots tournament yesterday. And this one's by Gahaku Poki. And this one has some interesting sets as well. It's the good old Gargan Knackle ID Body Press Salt Kier. With the exclusive move being like Salt Kier, this gradually that's doing damage over time. You get a little extra damage to the waters and steals as well. And becomes like a very unbreakable Pokemon after a while. And interesting at having a Nasty Pot Willow as well. A lot of setup here. Substitute, Calm Mind, Bulk Up. You got the Swords Dance on Garchomp with the Lumberry. And clear Amulet on Serialize to guarantee that you can't intimidate through its Bulk Up and it can always get like high value off of that. And then Reflect Light Screen, screen Grim to enable all this setup. We'll just get right into it. I don't know about any uh, tournaments coming up though. I do not know. I do not know. Yeah, let's get right to it. I do think clear amulet's like a very sick item. Just being able to get clear body on stuff is just like really good. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to move the music a bit more, but. Okay, we're getting Dreadnought Rain. The first time I've seen Dreadnought, and we also have a Magnet as well. Water Main. Hmm. Not sure how I should play this. I do think Rotom is probably really good. I don't have Hydro Pump though. Like, we're Willow Nasty Plot. We'll backfire a bit here that's not having the Hydro Pump. We are Terra Grass, not Electric. But there's also a Grim of their own too. I think I, I still just go Grim though. We can still like win con with this because we're Terra Grass, but we have to keep in mind that we would have to stall it out a fair bit first, right? So I think I go Grim Rotom. And I can go like uh, Garga back. And I, I turn Garga Grass. Garga being Grass in Endgame is actually like really good here. I think. Hmm. What type is Serilage? Is it Ghost? It's also Grass. All these are Grass. Okay. Garchomp. Yeah, I think it is Fist for like Thunder Waves. Unfortunate the Rotom Wash not having Hydro Pump though. <laughs> that will backfire a fair bit, I think, in this matchup. I don't have a way to hit the magnet with it. Oh, I think like this is the game plan in general is if I can get into the end game with like Garganacle behind like Iron Defense, I should be able to do pretty well. So I have to like prioritize getting the KO on like Pelipper. Okay, they go Dreadnought and Grim actually. Okay. I think this is fine though. I can go for like a Will O Wisp. And this will reflect here. I can even parting shot if I predict a double up here and this goes straight to my Garga, but we'll save that for now. Wait, maybe I had nasty plot. No, I'm just gonna willow, I'm just gonna willow. Mm. Yeah, they go for the fake out. What's Dreadnought doing though? There is this a Dreadnought there. Yeah, Swords Dance, okay. So I go for a Parting Shot here for sure. We do go for the Parting Shot. They did give me Reflex, so it's like... Still an okay position. I just go for Parting Shot, and I just go for a Will now. We just disable this setup as fast as we can. Oh, they Protect, okay. Is this a Spirit Break into my Rotom, I guess? Probably a spirit break, right? Yeah, it's a spirit break. Yep. Yeah, no damage. Could go to guard chomp. It's parting shot. Hmm. I kind of feel like that might be Lumberry, so I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt instead, which is a bit greedy, but I think it might work out fine. I can go for like Willow into the 
Oh, it's clear amulet. God damn it. <laughs> well. It is plus four now. Yeah, let's see how the Thunderbolt does. This is kind of bad. To be honest. Oh, the clear amulet. Let's see. I don't have Thunder Wave too, so I have to just... Find a way through it somehow. Might protect again. Or this rock slide me, I guess. Either makes sense. I really regret not quicking the will though. Okay, they go in the Pelipper, I think. Bro, do I have to get swept by Dreadnought? Yeah. It did kind of set up a lot of boost there. It did kind of set up a lot of boost. Okay, it goes for a liquidation instead. It does die here. It does die. We made it through it. We're not getting slept today by it. That was scary though. I <laughs> got completely rocked by that clear amulet. That's why clear amulet is such a good item. For those scenarios, it just becomes so hard to get through. But yeah, thankfully we're still in like a good position though. We are still in a very good position. Because they because they only have like single target damage. Okay. Yeah, it is strange he kept Rotom. He could have targeted that and my I don't even think Spear Break would have KO'd. Yeah, here I just protect, I think. I do want to just target the Pelipper. I do want to just target the Pelipper the next turn. Because if I KO Pelipper, I think we just win off of that. I protected here, though, just to get the fake out all the way. Okay, he's probably just going to have Tailwind or something. Oh, okay. Fake out into Garchomp, and he goes for the Tailwind, sure. I guess there is a question here, right? Do we think the Pelipper protects? <laughs> that is a question. I still think the play is this uh, Dragon Claw. And Wisp, though. We will live the Spirit Break. You'd have to protect Pelipper, most likely. Gal will of the Grim. Oh, he goes for the Hydro Pump, just straight up. Oh no. That's not good. That is not good, actually. But we still live, we still live, because Grim is very weak and we have that reflect up. Yeah, that's fine. I would have much preferred to just KO the Pelipper here, but... <laughs> I'll take it, right? I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Because it should mean I just uh, KO Pelipper and then my Garga should be able to win in the back. I don't think you have enough damage to KO my Rotom Wash. Well, maybe I should have just double attacked it in case it terrestrialized, but this is still fine though. Let's be this Thunderbolt here. Yeah, parting shot, sure. Okay, what mom do they have in the back? Hopefully, it's something I can just will a wisp. Roaring Moon. Okay, that's fine. Yep. I do believe it's going to be the booster energy aggro set. But I'm pretty sure Garga in the back should be able to just win now. I'm pretty sure Big Gargle got this. Yo, it's Dragon Claw. I think we just will us as well. A random shiny? Nice. What Pokemon? But I think we should have this for sure. Yeah, we get the jaw. Yeah, there's a jaw lock. Okay, yeah, we win. Can I just get the burn and it should just be game over? Fortress? Yo. Big Fortress. Yeah, this is a spirit break. Doesn't matter though. Citrus Berry. Oh, 
Rain's gone. Now Garga can just come in here and close up the game. You lose a reflect though. There's just no way we lose. Just spread those burns, get the rock in. Oh, almost quick willow. <laughs> we can just go for a thunderbolt into the roaring moon in case it goes for terra flying. Then we cover it with this uh, thunderbolt. It'll take extra damage. So I can't even think about tearing. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, I think this will be flying, probably. It exploded? Oh no, did he save before? If he saved before, you can still get the shiny. Oh no, it's steel. Okay, 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 okay. That's kind of bad. I was not expecting it to be steel. It's not choice band though, so it's still not gonna do enough. But that is a bit annoying, for sure. I get the iron defense. The bright side though, that means body presses is gonna whack him, you know? This actually just whack him. Yeah, it takes nothing from the T bolt too, because of all the spirit breaks we've taken. Oh, I just go grass. Makes sense on Roaring Moon since it's four times weak to fairy, yeah. It says flying is more common. Okay, yeah, they forfeit, they know. They just saw that damage and it was just not happening. With every single team I can think of is underwhelming. I don't know where to... Any tips or advice? I think the easiest tip is just, like, observing other people, <laughs> like, straight up. Like, there's content like Cybertron, like, Joe UX9. You can look at, like, Japanese teams. Let's try to like look at those teams and then try to like this copy it or use use these rental codes, see what you like from it, and just keep flowing off of that, right? And once you're able to this uh get through a certain point, getting through rentals, getting through like those teams and playing with teams that are already constructed, eventually you will be able to evolve and just make your own teams. There's plenty of great resources through like Liberty Note, uh multiple like YouTube channels of Aaron with Joe and all that stuff. And you can also look through like Victory Road and different tournament gameplay. Early meta is just a lot of experimentation though, so don't worry about being like bad or anything. Because like, especially early on, everyone's going to be pretty bad. <laughs> you know, you know. And if you want my help, you can get my help at any time. We do have a little Discord and stuff that you can just communicate with me through that if you so please. If you so please, if you so please. I'll try to help, I'll try to help. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of. I, I forgot I had to delete the invite link because of the bots at the year. <laughs> okay, back to this game though. Oh, Gord, the golden guy, the golden guy. Oh, I'm gonna do the Charizard event, yeah. We'll do like all day. Um, Gyarados, Volk, Sandy Shocks. And you can see there's a rental team section as well for like the teams I'm using today. Yeah, I don't know how I should approach this. <laughs> I do think Garchomp is probably the move. This Garchomp, Grim, and we go like Rotom back and... I guess I can... Mm, I guess I go Garga. I think Gargle... <laughs> Garga endgames pretty well here with like Grass Transform. Who do my Gyarados for? It? Nice. It'll be funny because like I imagine the Berserker strat won't work because uh it's a fire type before. <laughs> well maybe it will anyways, the sass shift or something. Okay, there's the golden guy. This does have like 120 base power spread steel move. I do remember that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go for a swords dance and just go for a light screen here. Actually, what type am I? Okay, yeah, I have a sword dance and light screen. We should be able to live this. Is Drapoi useful? It can be. It's a it's a bit gimmicky because like it just doesn't have the stats to back up its trick room setup, but technically it does give you a bit of an advantage. Well, if 
you have to deal with fake out, right? You can still just get your trick room sweep going, and that's inherently kind of useful. Okay, make it rain. There it is. The spread move. Doesn't KO at least. Let's get that special attack drop as well. I think after the Swords Dance, I just Terra Ground here. <laughs> I think I just Terra Ground going to Rotom. And this point for that. But I don't even think I second guess it. This, this is the easiest way to get rid of this guy. Oh, it's communicating. Okay. They are switching out. They are switching out into Gyarados, I imagine. Into Gyarados? Yeah, into Gyarados. That's why I made the play I did, though, because now we go into Rotom Wash as well. I guess I probably could have this Earthquake as well. I have no clue yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to wait till like, I actually get a strat, right? Because there's going to be a strat. There's always a strat. And once I figure out the strat, then I'll use the strat. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't take too many resources to use it, though. <laughs> Whatever it may be. Yeah, we get the Earthquake. This does mean we're going to be weak to the Gyarados. But we'll be fine. I just will a wisp it. Yeah, there's the ground. Maybe a Spirit Break. Yeah, okay. Another benefit of like going Terra Ground, we take a little less damage from that. I guess they could go for like Terra into Grass type. That would be a little annoying. Hmm. I'm kind of regretting tearing my Guard Chomp, honestly. <laughs> I am just a little bit. Okay, they switch out again. That's perfect. I went for EQ. Oh, that's good for me. Though it's going to be an Intimidate, so I do think the Grim will actually live now. Yeah, they go for Light Screen as well. Sure. They can serve a Lumberry, potentially. If that is what they have. And yeah, look how little damage that did to the... A little dark guy. A little slug. I did so little damage. <laughs> yeah, there's a lefties as well. I believe it's going to be Elite Seed and let's try to stall me. Which is funny, we get the stall battle, you know. But <laughs> a classic stall battle. Uh, I think I have the Swords Dance again, actually. And Thunderbolt. I don't think it will KO me or anything. We get the Thunderbolt before the Grim moves as well. If it KOs me, then oh, it's, well, <laughs> yeah, tough. <laughs> but I don't think it will. Thunder Wave, okay. He's a, the, the Grim Star accepted his fate. He didn't even want to bother going for a Spirit Break that you want to get. Okay, Thunderbolt. Get another Swords Dance, too. There's Elite Seed. Okay. I think we live one more. Though so that HP bar went very fast and I blinked. <laughs> It went a little too fast for me, but I'm pretty sure we live one more. Let's see. We could go to Gyarados, I guess. Like, protect. Any questions, but what about Klefki? Klefki's usable, but Grimmsnarl kind of makes Klefki, like, way worse because you already have a better Reflect Light Screen bot in Grim. And Grim also has, like, Fake Out Access, Spear Break, it has Party Shot as well. So it's a little less relevant than it could be. Is this Terra Grass? If this is Terra Grass, that's like the one thing that this bothers me. Maybe I just go for a Dragon Claw in case it does like confirm Terra Grass and I go Will-O-Wisp as well. 
Okay, it doesn't. So I, I probably should have this T-bolted, but you do get the will off. I was like so certain they would this terrestrialize there. I was so certain. Do they have one berry though? No, oh, they do. Ah, I should have this T-bolted. <laughs> yeah, they waterfall me. All right. Bye bye, Garchomp. <laughs> Go for the lead seed as well on that. I think I just go to Garga now, but the golden boy is still in the back, which is a bit scary, admittedly. Out of the box players, so she'll be top 10 with a model team in OU as I will point my favorite mons, but I guess this is no, it's actually easier. <laughs> I would argue it's easier. Because you only need to bring four Pokemon. Having like one or two suboptimal Pokemon is like a little more justifiable if they do this like the snuff. He's gonna terrestrialize and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> He's saving it for the golden guy. I have no clue how I'm gonna break the golden thing though. I shouldn't have wasted my Terrasilize earlier. Okay, if we like save the Terra Grass for this Garga, then we would be in like a really good position right now. But we used it on Garchomp earlier. And it's definitely gonna bite us here. There it is. We still have another turn of light screen though. I guess if I get a salt cure off on it and like a T bolt, we can maybe make something work. This will hurt. <laughs> this will certainly hurt though. I'm hoping like salt cure plus T bolt and maybe I switch into Grim and I can get a recover. Oh, they shadow bolted me. That's fine. That is very fine. Ghosts, of course, do reduce damage because of purifying salt. So I think they just gave me the game by doing that, possibly. Okay, yeah, there's a snarl as well. We'll get the salt cure. Wait, does this. Are they immune to it? No, oh, okay, good. I was worried they would just be immune to it. Yeah, I think we can win now. It's still hard, because that is a grass dark thing. We do have like 2 HP too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they could just Shadow Ball me again on this guy. Yeah, I think we lose. The gold surfer, yeah. Shadow ball. Yeah, we lose. Yeah, okay. I was hoping the bright powder would proc there, honestly. <laughs> I was really hoping that bright powder would proc. I do think that special defense uh, drop actually did matter a bit, though, considering the quick lead seed. But yeah, the dark guy should stall me out now. That's why conserving terrestrializing is like so important though, because if I I kept my terrestrialize for like either of my Pokemon, we could have turned like Terra Grass and actually have changed the tide of this endgame. But because we didn't, now we're in like a we just get stalled out by these gu <laughs> these guys. Um I guess I still probably could have switched to Grim and then like well, it wouldn't have done enough damage though. This is barely not enough. Actually, wait, if it's only Snarl and Leech Seed, right? Oh, it hits Leech Seed. No. 
No. I probably could have played for a timer too. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. That was a lot actually. But it has Leech Seed Protect and Recover, so like, we still just don't have enough in the clock to take him down. But I think that means the moveset. I actually would have won if I just switched out my Garga the turn before, but I relegated myself to losing there. Like, we probably win if we just switch Garga out, stack our Grim, and we go for Recover with Garga, and then I don't think the, ro the Slug could have broke us there. Cause they did give me the, did give me the turn there. But then again, on the other hand, if they this quick make it rain, we would have lost no matter what, right? It's not the big deal. It's not at all. But yeah, you look at the match timer. There's way too much time. There is way too much time. Of course, casual rules has a different timer to what actual VGC will, I imagine. That was a tough one. They played pretty well. I don't know why they didn't quick make it rain though. If they clicked make it rain, they would have confirmed that game a lot easier. But that's why you always have to play for your out, even if it's like... This, the out is just them making a mistake, right? Because sometimes they do this actually make the mistake. And that was a case of that, for sure, for sure. Yeah, let's move on to the next game. Uh, another slug. Oh, it's the same person again. We get the rematch. <laughs> We do get the rematch. So the lesson from the last one, though, was this, uh... <laughs> Rotom, broken. And save my Tarasalize. Don't Tarasalize Garchomp early. <laughs> I think if I just do those two things, then we should have a much better time dealing with this. Presumably. I'll actually lead Rotom and Garchomp. Great up and go Grim back and I will go Garga again and this time I will save my Tarasalize for the Garga. I think that's how I can win the end game versus it. I do also have this. I could use like bulk up end game set Shadow Sneak. It doesn't seem too bad, but like I, I think the setup's just a little too slow for that to work. Yeah, it's probably just a little too slow, right? It's tempting though. I would have Shadow Sneak. I would be weak to the gold guy too, though. So yeah, I'll do like this. We have Salt Cure for Volk in the end game too. Let's see how this works. This is a tough matchup though, because they do have a lot of uh, recovery and tankiness on their own right. And make it rain too. Just make it a bit hard. But we do get the game too, though. We do get the game too. Garchomp Rotom. There is a slug. There it is. <laughs> He's not messing around. Let's go for a willow on it. I don't think it has a grass move. It revealed Snarl, Ruination, Leech Seed, and we missed the Willow. Unfortunate. That's actually kind of bad. Yeah, they're going for the KO on my Garchomp too. Dude, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Okay. We still live, but that was not optimal. I'll try to go for a Nasty Pot though. And try to make whatever work. <laughs> I can of this situation. Did you go for the reflect? You go for the reflect. You might as well take advantage of this nasty part though. Do they snarl? I guess. Yeah. That will that willow miss was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad. The good thing is, like, they have no pressure here. But we don't really either. 
I think I just go for the iron defense setup this right now. Let's wait like right now, right now. I guess I can Thunderbolt the Grim too. If they don't go for screens, they'll just die, and I can go for an iron defense. So they have the light screen to live here, I'm pretty sure, because we are plus one. And there are the Intimidate dropping one, not the special one. Yeah, they do go for the light screen, and we start getting our iron defense going. Then they live, snarl. Oh, they go for Ruination. Fair enough. Into the Rotom, though. I'll take that. Ruination is also annoying because the uh, my stone is not the one with lefties, so it will actually temper me down a fair bit, a fair bit. Yeah, we can thunderball again. You kind of want to see almost this body press will do. Into this, yeah, why not? We do need to start getting damage on it anyways before this starts Leech Seed stalling me out. <laughs> hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are they terrestrializing? Oh. The poison! Oh wait, they're fighting resist now. Oh my god. <laughs> they are fighting resist now. Pure fine salt, yep. <laughs> yep, yeah, fighting resist. <laughs> oh man, how are we going to take this thing down, man? That is too. I'll trust always back. <sighs> Dude. I actually am stumped on how we get through this. Okay, we just salt here. I guess I do have to go my Sarah Ledge in this. Just so I have a way to actually set up safely and I can like shadow sneak for the golden thing too. Yeah, we protect. There's the make it rain. Holy crap, dude. Jesus. And again, we have Bright Powder, we do not have leftovers on this, so... We're cutting it very close. Oh no. You have to recover. Missed. The bright powder. <laughs> the bright powder, the bright powder. Oh my god. I think we win now. <laughs> I think we actually win now, because they can't leech seed me for recovery. We can salt cure for like, there's enough damage. I will Thunderbolt this, uh, to you, though. And Salt Cure the... So we can actually start getting some damage on it. I think we actually win the game now. <laughs> the Bright Powder reveal is here, it's here. I'm not sure if the Make It Rain would've KO'd, because it was minus one at that point, but like... It would've came really close and Snarl might've put me up, taking me out, too. 
They do switch out. They are switching. The good thing is Rotom's gonna go down and I can get light screen up now. Okay, they reveal Volk. Volk's good for me though. Actually, no, Volk's pretty bad because he has... Ooh, Volk is pretty bad actually. I, I should have salt cured the thing again. Yeah, they still win. They still win. I had to salt cure Volcarona there on the switch in. Yeah, we don't die to Elite Seed though. I guess I have to switch out into Grim and go for like a light screen and then like sack Rotom somehow and, then <laughs> and go for recover and then get a salt cure. There's not there's not enough things happening because they can quiver dance too and that ends it or they could reveal like fiery dance or something. This is over regardless. But I'll still do my best though. I'm assuming this is a quiver dance. No, this is a heat wave, okay. Does heat wave mean it's doable? I don't think so, but we'll try. Snarl. Yeah, I'm gonna try though. Oh yeah, parting shot. Parting shot for priority and I can salt here and then recover. Oh, I have to recover first. I do light screen now. Hopefully we can get a switch out too. He might want to switch out for my salt cure, right? Okay, he doesn't. Unfortunate. Yeah, there's the quiver dance. It's fine though. I can parting shot it again. I can parting shot it. Para. It's useful. There's the ruination. It misses. Perfect. And we go for a parting shot on the Volk here. And we just go for Thunderbolt too. Okay. Protect. Parting shot. Oh wait, that's actually bad. That was a bad play. Yeah, I'm making so many mistakes this morning. Okay, I need a spirit break. I forgot. Oh my god. Okay, the bug buzzed. Okay, that's fine. The para, perfect. It was tactical, actually. It was tactical. <laughs> it was so tactical. Can we live a bug buzz in light screen, though? <laughs> Can we live a bug buzz and light screen? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna Thunderbolt here. God in the Grim. The good thing is they can't quiver, they have to like bug buzz, but. So we are making this like comeback happen slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, they heat waved, okay. That's fine though, because I can go and- oh, burn. I still think that's fine though. I have parting shot and I have recover now. So we should be able to live one. Do you reveal Leech Seed though? Which is a bit annoying. I do wish I quick to recover there though. Like if we quick to re recover, that would have actually been like huge. Salt cured again. Oh, 
Or do I actually go for the heat wave, the miss with bright powder, and then I go for assault cure to KO Volcarona and then like. Uh. Cause they miss, right? I salt cure with a parting shot for the go ghost in the back with enough HP, and then we recover. But that could be an option. I'll actually go for it. It's risky, but we are at like such low margin of error right now. I have to like recover. I have to live somehow. Actually, I'll, I'll recover first. We can give it a turn. See how well we take this. Who knows, we can dodge right now too. We can dodge right now. And that'll just give us uh, another chance in. There's the heat wave. We live. Go for the recover. That's why Ruination's annoying. <laughs> That's why Ruination's annoying. Oh man. I just don't think I can go for the gargle mode at, into this at all. It does not feel that great. <laughs> mm. <sighs> yeah, I, I had to go for the salt gear on the turn before. I still lose, I think, even with that. I'll recover again, I guess. <laughs> well, it doesn't really do anything for me. Go on, Garga. <laughs> He goaded to the- Oh, he quivered! Wait a second. Do we have a chance? Do you want me back in with that? I think I need like a bright powder avoid though. Oh, we don't even kill. <laughs> we don't even kill, dude. Aww. Para, perfect. <laughs> Grim's gone. Ugh, oh, this is so goofy, man. Salt. The sad thing is still technically winnable. <laughs> By technicality, this is winnable. Odds-wise, it's probably like a 1% chance I could actually do this, but you know. Okay, they finally switch out. Nope, never mind. 0% <laughs> chance, actually. Yo, I'm so bad at piloting this team, though. I don't- I really just don't understand the win condition. Well enough, I think. They did also have the out to it, but... They had Volk and the Steel guy, so no matter if I tear it or not, I would always have something that could still hit me, you know? I'd have to be like Water Terra to like have a better chance at using the Wind Con in that matchup. Not Grass. Oh, I, if I'm Grass, right? If I'm Water, then I get Leech Seated. <laughs> it still doesn't work. It still doesn't work. <laughs> well, okay. I think we do one more, one more with this. I'll switch to the next one. Because those games were like both really long. But I don't think I like executed nearly properly enough at all. Okay. <laughs> the perfect one more. But yeah, now I'm actually going to use the Arluge. I mean the Sarah Leech. Sarah Ledge. 
It's grass as well, so I can just like tear type away from the weakness. We can go like Grim. They do look like they have kind of a team together, even though this is five Pokemon. So we go Rotom, Grim, Surledge, and... Well, the Rock would certainly win this matchup. <laughs> I'm like pretty sure. Like surely. <laughs> Let's go Sylveon back though. I kind of wanted to see what the Sarah Ledge can do. I can imagine with like one bulk up, I should be enough to take down most of these Pokemon. Because I do turn in the grass type. Communication error pre-served in the beginning. Oh. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> 